Welcome back, Rankers. Um, must be something wrong with the uh, November landing page because uh, this beautiful mode that you see right here uh, was getting, well, we got about 25 people to the page last week for, to sponsor the Mo, and not one of you signed up. So I don't know whether you're just waiting for proof to see whether I was gonna grow it, but here it is. So uh, everybody that um, is uh, interested in men's health, that's what this Mo is for. November, in case you don't know, in Australia is the month where men grow a Mo and then get it sponsored, and the money goes to help research uh, things like prostate cancer and also men's depression. So get on board. There's a link at the end of the video. Okay, um, last week's show, all about um, uh, how do you detect malware on your site and to see if your site's infecting. Um, got some really interesting feedback on that. Um, uh, Kerry, um, she said her site had infected over uh, a thousand sites. Uh, and she didn't know that until she went and checked it out. She's now actively seeking a new web hosting company, and we've given her a couple of recommendations there. Um, we had uh, Elise, who uh, told us that she sees this sort of thing all the time with a lot of her clients, and this is just, uh, there's a whole range of, of things out there, but uh, she says she always checks her client sites because you know, quite often, some, even some of the big hosting companies, some who you would think, uh, would have all their patches installed because essentially these sorts of hacks are because the uh, the web servers aren't up to date. They haven't got all the patches installed. Usually that's that's the reason. Um, so I would urge all of you to uh, to check your sites uh, against the Safe Browsing Diagnostic tool just to see uh, whether you've got malware. We also got, got picked up by our Search Engine Journal and a few other SEO sites. So thanks guys for acknowledging our, our work. Uh, okay, this week I just wanted to show you Google has finally put together some custom reporting and uh, a couple of other things that are only in beta stage at the moment, and this is in Google Analytics. Um, but what it allows you to do now, finally, is track a keyword and then see if it turns into a goal. And that is really, really powerful because you get then to see what phrases are more likely to convert. And this will work with both uh, your organic ranking and also your, um, your AdWords. If you do your AdWords yourself or you do your organic ranking yourself. But we're implementing this into all our, our gold clients now because what it allows us to do is focus down on a group of phrases or a type of phrase or variations of a type of phrase that are more likely to convert than others. And I'll show you, show, show you what I mean. I mean, in the very, I'm just going to show you a very, very simple um, implementation of this on our own site. Okay, what I've got here is I've got, uh, I'll just cross these things out so we can do them again. But basically, we've got, uh, I'm not going to dwell on it too much. Go and have a play with it yourself if you do your own Google Analytics. And if you want someone else to do it, talk to us. Um, okay, so the metrics. Basically, what I want to know is uh, of the goals on my site, this particular goal, goal four, I want to know... Um, how, what were the uh, total goal starts and I want to know what keyword, and I've already got it in there, what keyword was giving me the most starts of people filling out the goal. And this goal is, is just a form on the site, but it's a specific form that I want to find out what are the main keywords that trigger people filling out this form. And that's what I can do now. So I just press the button and we can see up here SEO Melbourne, that's because we rank number one for that phrase. Um, and there's a whole bunch here that are not set. There's about 29 that are not set. And we can see that um, we've had 44 people start the goal. And we've got SEO courses, online market in Melbourne. I didn't even know I ranked for that, so there you go. So that's nice. Uh, and these are the, all the goal starts here and where they've started. Now what I can then do is go through and further calculate to see where these goals, the ones that started, where they finished. And are some key phrases better, th better than others? Now I prepared one earlier, and I can tell you right now, uh, phrases that uh, are more identified with uh, your site, such as your company name, uh, which you need to rank for, of course, are probably more likely to get filled out the ones that um, this is the first time they've ever heard of you, which is natural, right? Um, but certainly things like SEO courses, SEO Melbourne, um, and anything to do with, with uh, the company or me personally 
uh, seem to get filled out uh, quite a bit. And you know the um, the the goal here is to work out what phrases are bringing people to your site, of course, which you can find out from normal Google Analytics. But you might find some gems in there uh, with this new reporting tool that you know they get 99% conversion rate every time. Uh, and that's what you need to focus on. So I just thought I'd just dip in and share this tool with you today. But if you do use your own Google Analytics, go and have a play with it. And uh, where we'll be using it with our clients is focusing on um, what phrases are going to convert the best and what phrases are bringing in the better dollar value because you can do that too if you're using AdWords and uh, if you start to put values against these leads, which is just great. So that's it for today's show. Remember, if you do have questions, then send them through and uh, we'll answer them if we can. And if we can't, we'll certainly make up an answer. So thanks very much for watching. Bye.